We are excited to welcome to this episode of the Hog Talk of the newest Razorback quarterback for Arkansas, Taylor Green. So we'll start with you. Welcome. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing uh, great. Just being a Razorback, being a Hog. You know, just um, glad to be welcome to the family. I think there's a lot of excitement down here for you, Arkansas, but we'll kind of backtrack a little bit. So we'll start with you kind of what led you to initially decide to uh, transfer out of Boise State? Um, you know, I I prayed about it and just talking to my family. Um, it was really a hard decision with everything. You know, I really love my teammates, love Boise. Um, you know, I always will be rooting for them. You know, they, they have a special, special place in my heart. Um, you know, I just – Want, want to, you know, see what's out there and just being a Arkansas Razorback, you know, just with Coach Petrino, just I believe um, he knows he knows how to coach, uh, coach me and just help me reach my potential and help me reach uh, my dreams of, you know, the next level, which is, you know, the NFL and the aspirations of that too. That's awesome, man. I'll, I'll kind of jump in real quick. Um, you talk about Coach Petrino there. So, I know there was some some ties potentially back when you were getting recruited out of high school, I believe, with Petrino when he was at Missouri State. So whenever he got hired in at Arkansas, did that have any type of uh, impact on your decision to go into the transfer portal to maybe try to come our way? Was there any interest there kind of before that officially happened? Or No, um, not really before it happened. Um, you know, while I was in the transfer portal, um, you know, he, of course, you know, texted me and called me and, like, called me every single day. Um, morning and night, you know, and I just felt the love uh, from them. And, you know, even him checking in on, you know, my finals and my academics and stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, and how how much love he showed me and my family this weekend. And it really meant a lot. It uh, had a really big in impact, you know, on my mom and my dad. You know, mom happy, you know, we're all good, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. If mom ain't happy, nobody's happy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I appreciate that. So that kind of leads into a follow-up question. Um, you, you, you touched on it that you guys have been in contact a lot on the phone. So how long were you in the portal before you got that first phone call? And was it Petrino that reached out to you or Coach Pittman or both of them at the same time? It was like, I would say probably like a couple hours. Um, Coach Petrino um, did most of the contact. Um was just, like I said, calling, texting, um, and all that stuff. Uh, just, like I said, really felt the love and, you know, the um, just everything that, that went on, and it just really spoke to me. Yeah, that's awesome. So you mentioned it. You you had your visit this weekend. So kind of take us through your official official visit. What was that like? I know you you I read an article that you'd been interviewed before, and you'd mentioned that, you know, you kind of were a COVID kid, and so you didn't really have those official visits before so walk us through what that was like and you know come to Arkansas for that official visit it was really it was really fun um uh, you know um just was crazy um like it was my I took an unofficial visit there my freshman year with like a couple of my high school teammates and stuff so it was definitely like a full circle moment of you know <laughs> being there like six years later and just um you know being in the facility and uh seeing um, everything and, and the things that changed, uh, but it was really fun. Um, you know, we went top golf. We went, we went to uh, just viewing the city and stuff like that. And uh, I got to watch film with Coach Petrino and just uh, see what he uh, envisioned. And my, uh, you know, watching Lamar and uh, things like that, and uh, seeing and hearing him coach it, and just hearing the detail that he. Um, that he uh, coaches with and teaches with, and I, I was like, yeah, that this is this is this is this is awesome. Um, I was hanging with uh, a couple of the teammates, Dom. Um, I'm really close with uh, Jalen Braxton. Uh, we've been um, we've been running track and um, training together since we was really young. So, uh, and I having having like Texas ties, um, a couple of my t uh, my new teammates, you know, and just we can relate to that. So you were just having fun, chilling, just talking about, you know, the program and um, talking to Coach Pittman, talking to other coaches. And um, definitely uh, had a lot of food there. Probably gained like probably gained like five pounds, you know. I love food. <laughs> um, and was really um, – seeing Whataburger there, uh, that made me really happy, you know, because I'm from, from Texas and love Whataburger. Um, saw Waffle House there. I was like, yeah, this is – 
this is the place to be for sure. Are you speaking my language there, man? <laughs> we're we're foodies around here for sure. Yeah, yeah. we've we've, uh, we've been excited that Whataburger came up this far north and everything. So, mm -hmm. uh, their their honey butter chicken biscuits are the best. They are. <laughs> they are. They are. You you talked about it a good bit. You guys have, have already been talking a lot. Um, you Petrino, um, you got to to know some of the other teammates. You got some ties with Jalen Braxton. That's awesome to hear. Um, so. Kind of walk us through some of the conversations with Petrino, some of that film you guys were, were watching and things of that nature. Um, are you expected to kind of come in and, and take on the role, start? Is is that the understanding so far? I know us as Hog fans, we're we're still waiting to hear stuff, and we're excited to have you, man. And I think that's kind of the direction this is all going. But have you heard anything officially there? That That's kind of the, the nature of the way it's going? Um, You know, just watching film and um... – Seeing how he envisioned everything, um, we watching the run game and Lamar using his legs, you know, with the reading and um, different things like that, whether it's, you know, zone read, of course, or uh, like power read or uh, things like that. Uh, the different different things um, Coach Petrino is uh, able to do, you know, with the with the dual, dual threat quarterback and especially somebody explosive like Lamar and marry that up with the pass game and, you know, play action and um drop back and um just the just knowing everything you know knowing the front knowing the the coverage in the back end you know um and that's why I fell in love with um just being a sponge and learning all that and um you know growing I feel like the more you know the more the game slows down and that's what I really that's what I really fell in love with like I said you know um we talked a little bit uh, about it but you know just Got to go in there still, still got to compete, still got to work my tail off and, you know, grind, you know, never, never scared of um, working hard, never scared of that. Cause you know, I, I told him right when I committed, I said, you know, let's, let's get to work. It's, 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 gr it's, it's grind season. And, you know, um, I'm going to be first one there and the last one out of the facility, you know, just day in and day out, just um, sticking to my process and what I learned in Boise and just applying it, um, applying it to, to, uh, Arkansas and just uh, the, the new season. So I'm excited uh, to, to get started. Yeah, that, that, that's awesome. Uh, you know, you kind of hit on a little bit about talking about, you know, watching that film and stuff, but talk to us a little bit about you and your style of play. Kind of do you model your game after anyone like Lamar or, or guys like that, or is it a combination of different guys? Kind of talk to us about that. Yeah, um, I would say I model, like I, I watch a lot of, you know, uh, Lamar Jackson, of course. Uh, I watch a lot of Josh Allen, uh, Justin Herbert. You know, just big guys. You know, uh, using to be able using their frame to make all the throws. Um, I really liked what you know C.J. Stroud did this year um, with the Texans, um, and just trying to just pick a couple stuff up from different people. You know, and just um, just try to, like you said, model model my game after that. And um, and what uh, Coach Petrino, he coached Lamar, and he knows he knows how um, it's supposed to look like. And he, I know he's gonna coach me hard, and he's gonna coach me. Uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna BS me. He's gonna tell me how it is. He's gonna tell me the real. You know, if I gotta do better in practice, he's gonna tell me. If I did good in practice, he's gonna tell me. He's gonna you know keep it real and uh, coach coach me hard. And that's what I'm excited for. That's awesome, man. Um, the next question we really had, and you already kind of hit on it a little bit, uh, but it was. Kind of what can Arkansas fans expect from you this season? You've already touched on. You're going to be the first guy there, the last one out, and that's that's something I know fans are going to really rally behind you with, um, that kind of work ethic. I know that's something that we, we've talked to Javante Herndon, one of Petrino's ex-wide receivers here um, from back when he was our head coach 10, 12 years ago. So that was a fun conversation with him. That's one of the things that he was excited to have Petrino back on the hill because he brings a lot of um, discipline and, and work ethic to the offense. So sure. I, I think you're going to have your work cut out for you to to learn some of that, but it's it's going to be an exciting time. So, what what else do you think you can bring, kind of that the Arkansas fans can expect besides your work ethic? I would say you know just um, just a servant leader and just building relationships. You know, I mean, I always love being out in the community, and I can't wait to you know be uh, be there and just be with the community and just see everybody and don't don't be afraid to say hi or. Um, just just uh, talk, you know, talk to me. I'm I'm always a, I'm an open book, you know, so uh, I'm excited to be there and uh, with my team. I'm excited. 
uh, like I said, just being a servant leader and um, just leading, um, just get, getting in there and just um, leading. And so they know I'm, like I said, being the first one there and last one out, um, just leading by example. And, you know, with my actions, I know you could talk a lot, but you have to be able to back it up by your actions. Yeah, that, that that's fantastic. I think you know you'll fit in right here, right, right well with the the Arkansas culture and you know the way that kind of the culture Pittman's established with his team and everything. And so you know we look at our timeline. You've had your official visit. You're committed. So what's your timeline as far as you know getting down to Arkansas and, and getting moved and everything like that? When do you expect to be here? I should be moved there um, mid January, early to mid January. So. You know, um, going back to Dallas and going to have a, about a month uh, with my fam and uh, just going to enjoy that time and uh, just embrace myself and in, in, in the playbook day one and uh, hit the ground running. Heck yeah, man. We're going to be excited to have you on the Hill. Appreciate you jumping in. We got one last question for you that we're really curious about. We were talking about before the show, but uh, what was it like playing on a blue field? And did that did that change kind of the way you saw things when you were out there playing ball? It was different for sure. Uh, just coming in, like when I first came in, I was like, "This is like blue, blue, like it's 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 blue." And I thought like it was it was unique and it was it was crazy experience, you know. And when we when we wear the all blue, that's when it was like a little tricky. <laughs> it's a little tricky sometimes, but you know we practice on it and we do like most of our training out there. So I mean, your eyes do get used to it. I know I, I came back home like when I first got up there. I was like being on a green field. I was like, this is kind of weird. So, <laughs> so uh, it was it was definitely it was definitely a cool experience. I, I will never forget it. I was about to say I have some family that lives up in Boise, and we never made it to a game up there, but visited the the stadium and the field and got to see that. And it, it's like you said, it, it sure is really blue. Um, I've had room, heard rumors that you know sometimes ducks will actually land on the field because it's it's so blue they think it's some water. Yeah, that is, that is true. I know. Just sometimes there's like bird feathers on the on the tur on the turf, and we're like, what? Where that come from? So it's it definitely it's definitely a cool experience. That's awesome, man. Like I said, thank you so much for jumping on with us tonight. Appreciate your time, and and we're really excited to have you as part of the Arkansas Razorback family, and I think you're going to fit right in. A down-to-earth guy, this is a blue-collar state, and you're already talking about your work ethic, and that's one of the best things a fan can hear. So from our perspective, we're extremely glad to have you on board, man. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. And then, yeah, um, just to, once again from us and, you know, all the Arkansas fans, you'll get the welcome. But, you know, glad to have you on board and, you know, welcome to Arkansas and being part of the Razorbacks. Thank you. Go Hogs. Go Hogs, Go Hogs man.